I'll start this video off with a disclaimer. The thumbnail picture is not intended to make fun of anyone who's disabled, okay? It's just a joke about adults posing to be children to get attention on the internet. However, I'm sure I will get some outraged messages over that because that's the culture we live in nowadays, where people are rewarded for being outraged. I'm Paul from Apex Mindset, Relationship Coach and Master NLP, EMDR and Hypnotherapist. I want you to take your finger and slide it over to the subscribe button, hit subscribe for more content of value. So the other day I put out a video regarding bullying because a video went viral about this child named Quaden who was apparently being bullied at school and it was he's he's got some disabilities and you know it was a heart-wrenching video all that stuff so it opened up this dialogue about bullying um, what's interesting is like I like when I say stuff and then it turns out to be like 100% true and it just plays itself out right before your eyes because what I stated as the major problem with our society and with it with bullying and why it happens is that we live in an outrage culture where people are looking for things to be outraged over and we have a victim's mindset where we reward victims and we're not and because of those things we're not teaching resiliency and we're not learning how to be more resilient ourselves as adults and sure as shit i put this video out six hours later all of the internet researchers and their parents basements uh, concluded that uh, Quaden was in fact an adult because he the old Instagram photos had showed him showed him standing next to the number 18 so clearly that means that he was 18 years old because if I was standing next to the number 357 that would clearly conclude that I was 357 years old so uh, obviously, you know, but that's what got put out and it went that went viral now that this whole thing was a hoax to the point where Snopes.com actually got involved, did research and determined that Quaden is actually a kid. And in fact, nine years old is about right from what Snopes figured out and other people researching. But who knows? Maybe tomorrow it'll be different. OK, but the point is, did any did did people get into the discussion about bullying and talking about what we can do to actually make real changes in our lives and with our kids. No. Instead, I got messages. I got a lot of that stuff. And then a lot of you guys listen to my stuff. I are, are, are have your heads in the right place and I appreciate you. But I got a few messages from people who were outraged and said that, you know, I, I shouldn't have, how dare I, you know, have this story on my video without knowing all the facts. In doing the research, of course, never mind that mainstream media had picked up on it at this point and had reported Quaden as being a child. And then, of course, then six hours later, it turns out that he was, in fact, a child and, you know, he wasn't this adult that the Internet, with all of its accuracy, decided to report. Um, the truth of the matter? Well, it's somewhere in the middle. It's, it appears that Quaden is a kid. It also appears that mom is a bit of an opportunist. She's got Instagram accounts for her kid and she's got, you know, all these pictures of him being G'd out and holding adult beverages and giving the middle finger and all this stuff. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm a parent of a nine year old and my kid doesn't have an Instagram and he, and he damn sure isn't giving the middle finger out on photos anywhere. And if he did, he'd be in trouble and that I sure as shit wouldn't post it. Why? Because he's fucking nine years old. That's why. And because we need to have, you know, because we're not teaching our kids anymore to be kids. We're not telling our kids, hey, this stuff, this behavior is not okay for a kid because you're not mature enough to do these things. You know, this is not, this is a behavior that's reserved for adults who should have the maturity to make decisions about this type of behavior. You know, but anyways, I digress. So we have a little bit of a parenting problem here. And we have a little bit of a drive for fame and accolades. But then what happens, though? Well, our outrage culture rewards it, right? She puts out this video with this kid, you know, who is sad and upset, which I was a bit skeptical about her motives. But it, it opened up the dialogue about bullying. So I gave it, I, I went through with my video anyways, which was perfectly fine in my opinion. But um, sure, sure enough, you know, um, what, what happens is 
there's something like a half a million dollars raised for this kid and his family. Why is that? And that gets us to the point of why Apex Mindset is even in existence. It's because people trap themselves in prisons. You're all, many of you are trapped in a prison that's right here. It's in your own mind. And that plays itself out in your relationships, how you handle the opposite sex. It plays itself out in your choices for jobs, for how you handle your money, for how you handle your families, for how you handle your friends. It plays itself out all throughout that stuff. And most of you have saddled yourself with responsibilities and have behaviors that have essentially, you've essentially trapped yourself. And so you're trapped in this prison and you're fucking miserable. And so it's more comfortable to escape your own misery, to jump on the internet and to get outraged about something because that makes you feel better about yourself and then figure out where to send your $10 to, you know, which uh, GoFundMe account to send, to send 10 or 15 bucks to, to feel like you're really making a difference. And me, meanwhile, it's just going to some, you know, single mommy who was looking for 15 minutes, right? So why don't we just stop doing that? Instead of, instead of doing that stuff, you want to stop bullying, you want to start making some real changes, start being more resilient and start looking at what's up here because kids are going to model after your behavior as the adult, all right? If you want your kids to be more resilient and you want your kids to do things that are going to institute real change and make a real difference, then you need to do that too as an adult, and that is, again, why this channel is in existence. I focus on the relationship side of it because, you know, you could have a billion dollars in your pocket, but if you're in a miserable relationship, then your life's going to suck, and that's the way it is. So let's, you know, let's start making better lives. Let's start having better relationships, and let's stop being so damn outraged all the time, and let's start taking a little bit of responsibility for ourselves and being a little bit more resilient. If you need additional help, Hit me a private message. You got an opinion? Put it in the comments. Let's hear it. Okay? Uh, subscribe to my channel. Share. I appreciate your support. Thanks again.